Have you guys ever wondered what the secret is to get through dental school? Well, unfortunately, there isn't really a secret, but what I can offer as the dentist for is five tips to help you get through dental school. Subscribe if you want more content and like the video if it helps. Thanks so much. Hey guys, even though I'm in my third year of dental school, I've still got a while to go. Therefore, for this video, I thought it'd be a really good idea to ask some top tips from fourth year, fifth year dental students and current DFTs who have gone through dentistry. Thank you for everyone who gave me their bits of and advice. I really appreciate it. You guys know who you are. I'm sure the people watching this video are gonna benefit a lot. So my first top tip would be stay organized and keep on top of your lectures. It might be a cliche and you might have heard it all before, but it's so easy to fall 50, 60, 70 lectures behind in your first term, especially in first year. I suffered from this back in first year and it came and bit me in the back at the end. And it can be incredibly easy and it can bring on a lot of stress and affect your mental health. We can avoid this by being organised and working through lectures in a methodical fashion. And when you put that into perspective, one lecture may only take between one and two hours for some people. That isn't too much of your day to sacrifice. Often when you go to clinics, you'll be asked to recall information that you've either learned earlier in the year or in previous years through lectures and not knowing that knowledge will put you at a disadvantage to other students because you simply won't be able to grasp concepts as quickly. So my second top tip would be create that balance between a work and social life. Dental school is hard and it's really, really stressful, trust me. Having something to look forward to, maybe after a day of lectures or after a week of clinics, is such a good way of working towards something. Though it's really important to have dental students as friends, so you can talk about specific things dental related and so you have friends who really understand the difficulties that you're going through, it's also really important to have a friendship group outside of dentistry, because this allows you to completely escape from dentistry for however long you want to, to give you an opportunity to have fun, relax and recharge your batteries so you can get going the next day. However it is you socialise, whether it's drinking, whether it's non-drinking, whether it's with a lot of friends, whether it's with your significant other, however it is, it's essential to get through dental school and remember that dentistry isn't everything. Number three, perhaps more relevant to years three, four and five, but it is to throw yourself in the deep end when it comes to clinics. Now, treating patients, especially for the first few times, can be extremely daunting. The only way that you're gonna be able to get over those initial anxieties, and that stress and worry, is by doing as much clinical practice as possible. Yes, obviously, the patient is your responsibility, but there are tutors who are invigilating and making sure that nothing serious happens. And this gives you the opportunity to continue to practice your skills and to continue to push yourself out of your comfort zone to depths that you haven't reached before and if you do make that slight mistake you have the tutor to fall back on you can rectify it whatever treatment scares you in dentistry the more you do it the more relaxed you're going to become and the more second nature that treatment is going to come to you everything the tutors and the dental school asks of you is because they believe that you can do that treatment and if your tutors and your dental school believes in you why shouldn't you believe in yourself How's it going guys? So the next point in the video, top tip number four, was actually specifically suggested by newly graduated Dr. Zane Rizvi. Um, he was Dental Student of the Year for 2019 and even though this video is just a five minute um, summary of how to get through dental school, Zane has written an outstanding and comprehensive novel on how to get through dental school. Um, as you can see here. I've left a description for the Amazon link below and I'd highly recommend checking it out. Who better to hear from than the dental student of the year and he's gonna go on to do great things as a dentist. Cheers Zane. Number four, you'll have good days and you'll have bad days. Dentistry is a five year course. No way are you gonna go through five years of university at dental school and be plain sailing the whole time. But know that that's completely natural. Whether you performed a poor restoration, whether you've really struggled in an exam, whether you know you've had a poor OSCE, everyone will go through something that they struggle with. And then yes, you'll have good days. You'll have days where you really bond with a patient. You'll have days where you smash your exams. You'll have days where you understand a lecture perfectly. And by grasping on, to the feeling of how great those days felt. You could then push on from that and enhance your learning by wanting to retain that feeling. To quote from Thor, the only thing that's permanent is impermanence. 
you might have good days but there will be a bad day that's just around the corner you might be going through a bad phase but there'll be a good phase that's just around the corner and finally point five is never forget why you want to do dentistry when you're going through those bad days when you are finding dentistry really stressful and it is stressful it is difficult it is tough one thing that will never leave you and you always have to fall back on is why you want to do dentistry in the first place whether that's marrying healthcare and art whether that's interacting with patients whatever reason it might be that got you into dentistry it's something that you can always remind yourself of whenever you are going through a difficult phase in the degree which as i said there always will be so that sums up my five top tips to get through dental school guys i hope you enjoyed if any dental students are watching and they have any tips as well drop them in the comments for any future recovered dental students and if any future current dental students have any questions about the tips or anything else, just drop it in the comments below and I'll definitely reply. Subscribe if you want more content for current dental students because I'll sure to be releasing that soon. And like the video if you found it useful. I'm the Dentist Raj and I'll see you soon.